Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Doom Patrol, Season 1, Episode 13, Flex Patrol. This episode completely makes up for the last one. This one was so much better. We learn all about Flex Mantello, who is the character who walked out of the comic book from Danny. So already, things are kind of piecing together. Flex is also like uh, Prisoner 722. So we start to get a lot of things, like from the past and to now. Like in the past, Flex and Larry were both prisoner and Flex kept trying to get Larry to set him free, but he wouldn't do it. <coughs> Whereas now Flex like has no memory of what's going on. And we slowly learn that Flex like kept trying to escape, trying to escape, but he couldn't because his wife was eventually taken capture. And it turns out his wife is Dolores, the elbow lady, and so all sorts of stuff going on there. And it was it was really kind of interesting to watch like all of his powers come together and all the things he can do and how he gives in to the Bureau of Normalcy. Um, eventually they do re like reintroduce Flex and Dolores and Flex gets his memories back, but then Dolores dies. So you know in the next couple of episodes, Flex is gonna lose his shit. But it's, it's pretty amazing. There's a lot of really good one-liners, like uh, Cliff talking about how, like, we did two things. We saved people. And that was pretty entertaining. Ed Eisner makes an appearance, or Asner makes an appearance in this, which this is a DC, it's based off of a DC comic. It's on the DC app, obviously. But Ed Asner is no stranger to DC. He's been, like, everything from back to, like, the original, like, Superman animated series as Granny Goodness, and he's done that in some of the movies. He's played Perry White in some of the movies. Like, he's no stranger to DC. So that was pretty awesome. And just watching them all kind of come together. We saw in the last episode, Vic beat the shit out of his father. And so in this one, he's just kind of there with him to help him, like, heal. I don't care. To me, Cyborg's the most boring story out of all of them. I love at the very end where Mr. Nobody's like, after 30! pointless episodes once again breaking the fourth wall but it worked it was really good and I did really kind of enjoy it so we're almost there we're almost done with it lots of stuff to tie up so curious what you think flex is definitely my favorite part of this thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time for the penultimate patrol